Hey guys, welcome to part 4 of Beginner's Blender's car modeling series. Sorry for the delay, I wasn't feeling totally well. But now I'm okay and I will try to post all the other videos as soon as possible. But first, if you are new here or haven't subscribed already then please subscribe so you're always updated of any upcoming videos. And if you want the finished car model, you can get it on my Gumroad page as well as on my Patreon. Well, back to Blender. Time to create the front bumper. Select these three faces, E to extrude, then press G Shift Z to move it both along the X and Y axis. Select these two faces and then X to delete. Now select the top upper vertices, press M, merge at last. It's the same now for the bottom vertices. Adjust this upper vertex a little bit more. Go to side view. Adjust these vertices. Now it's the same process for the back bumper as well. Now we will create the rear light and the number plate. Control R to add an edge loop. Place it right about there. Double G to slide these vertices a little bit to the side. Go to face select mode and select these two faces. Nah, actually I'm gonna slide this edge a little bit inward first. I lost some progress while saving, so if you have done this step already in the previous video, you don't have to repeat. Select this face, I to inset. Scale it along X axis as well. Place it right about here. For the number plate, just extrude and then scale it down. GZ to move these inner faces downward a little bit. Actually bring this face back outward a bit. Well now we will create the rear light. So what we will do now is to select this face, Shift D to duplicate, GY to bring the duplicate face outwards and then press P separate by selection and now this is totally another object and uh, it's not a part of the car's main body anymore rename all of your objects in time it's totally a good practice you can totally see it's a big mess well what we can do here is shift select all of them then press m new collection name it and then press ok and now you can see all of them are in a different collection and it's so much easier to handle you can move the headlights to another collection as well
Select the rear light while in object mode. Go to object, set origin to geometry. Remove mirror. Select this face and then extrude it inwards. Alt D to duplicate. SX-1 to flip the mesh and then GX to move it to the other side. Well, it's time to fix the back now. Like I said in the first video, you can either press Ctrl-1 to go to the back view or press 9 while you are in the front view. Select these two faces, E to extrude and then scale them down. Then extrude them inwards. Select this face, extrude it, move it inward a little bit, extrude it again, then scale it down. Extrude it again. Now we will make the tail lights. Shift D to duplicate. Move it backwards. I will not be discussing it again because um, it's totally the same steps from now. By the way, we don't need to do this, but still I'm showing you that uh, you can make interesting shapes back here as well if you want. If you need stylized lights back here. But in this case, it will be totally behind our tail light, so it's not gonna be visible. But still, I thought I should tell you that anything can be done.
now to create a little bit of separation alt left click to select one full edge loop control b to bevel alt select the middle edge loop and then scale it down Then again now it's the same. Alt D to duplicate, S X minus 1 to flip it and then G X to move it to the other side. Now we will add some more details to the bumper. Ctrl R to bring in an edge loop. Ctrl R bring in one more edge loop. Place it right about here. Actually bring in one more. I guess I need one more. Ctrl R bring in one more edge loop right about here. Select these edge loops and bring them upward a little bit select these faces then extrude them backwards scale them down a little bit as well it looks much okay now time to repeat the same process at the back as well it's easy at the back because we already have the edge loops Well, it's looking much better now and that's it for today. Hope you liked the video. If you did, then please like and subscribe my channel so you're always updated of my new upcoming videos. Well, see you in part 5 then. Take care. Happy blending.